Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Lily, I will share the screen now. Okay. Today, we're gonna read the listening test. Okay, you told me you cannot print. Now we will have the listening test, okay? How are you today, Lily? You're okay? Okay. okay, please answer, listen and answer. Part one, listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of my holiday, Betty. It was very hot. Who are all these people, Uncle? Well, you know, Richard, he's sitting in the car. Oh, yes. With the white hat on? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Sure. Who's the man with the camera? The one taking a photo of the giraffe. No, the other one standing by the tent in the yellow jacket. Oh, that's Tom. He works in the office. And can you see what Katie's doing? Who's she? The woman who's working on the car. She's a mechanic. Oh, yes. Teacher. And what's the name of that person there? The boy who's looking at the map? Yes. His face looks very pink. <laughs> That's David. He stayed in the sun too long. And is that Sally? I remember her face. Yes, she's got lovely long red hair, hasn't she? Hmm. Why has she only got one shoe on? I don't know. Perhaps a lion ate the other one. And look, there's her husband, William. The man who's looking out of the tent? No, I mean the man sitting by the fire. What's he writing? His diary. He wrote about everything we did every day. Teacher. Now listen to part one okay. again. Okay, what is it? Uh, uh, we have finished it. We have finished this? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. We are still 40 weeks for a while. I will check.
You wait for a minute, Lily. Okay, Lily, how about this? Okay, listen. Part one. Okay, listen, listen Lily. and look. There is one example. There are a lot of people in the market today. Yes, that's because the food is cheaper here. Are we going to buy something? Perhaps. Look, there's David. Where? There, he's wearing a blue jacket. He's buying some onions, I think. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Where's Emma? She's usually here on Saturdays. She's got a red car, hasn't she? Yes. Why? I can see her. She's standing by it. Look! And there's Michael. Oh, I don't know him. Who is he? He's standing next to that tree. Oh, is he the policeman? No, he's a boy in my class. The policeman is his dad. And do you remember your dad's friend, Paul? He's here, too. No. Which one is he? He works here in the market. He sells fruit. Look, there he is. Is he the man with the beard? That's right. Look, there's Daisy. Is that the girl in the red skirt? No, the girl with the dog. She's wearing jeans. Oh, I know her. She came to my party last year. And look. Is that your friend Sally in the street, too? Where? I haven't seen her for a long time. Look, she's picking up the apples. They've fallen out of her bag. Oh, yes. Let's go and help her. Now listen to part one again. Where's Emma? She's usually here on Saturdays. She's got a red car, hasn't she? Yes. Why? I can see her. She's standing by it. Look. And there's Michael. Oh, I don't know him. Who is he? He's standing next to that tree. Oh, is he the policeman? No. He's a boy in my class. The policeman is his dad. And do you remember your dad's friend, Paul? He's here, too. No. Which one is he? He works here in the market. He sells fruit. Look, there he is. Is he the man with the beard? That's right. Look, there's Daisy. Is that the girl in the red skirt? No, the girl with the dog. She's wearing jeans. Oh, I know her. She came to my party last year. And look, is that your friend Sally in the street, too? Where? I haven't seen her for a long time. Look, 
She's picking up the apples. They've fallen out of her bag. Oh, yes. Let's go and help her. That is the end of part one. Okay, so we have here Lily. Where is Emma in the picture? Uh, Emma is a girl next to the red car. Okay, the one wearing a purple dress. Next, number two. Where is Michael? Uh, Michael is the boy taking to the policeman. The one wearing a green t-shirt. Next one. Where is Paul? Uh, Paul is the man with the bread selling fruit. Very good. Next one. Where is Daisy? Uh, Daisy is a girl with the dog on left. Okay, next, where is Sally? Oh my God, what happened to Sally? What happened to Sally? Uh, Sally is the girl who stroke apple. Uh, look at that. Sally is the girl who dropped the apples. And you can see, oh my God, it seems that Sally get hurt. Oh my God, Lily. Okay, so now very good. Now let's move to the next. Okay, we have here our new teacher. Okay, so please try to... Okay, ready, listen, please. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Right, please be quiet, everyone. I want to tell you about your new teacher. When is the new teacher going to start teaching us, Miss Brown? Next week, Harry. Which day? On Tuesday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Which subject will she teach us? You ask a lot of questions, Harry. Sorry, Miss Brown, but I just want to know. All right. Well, she usually teaches maths, but she's going to teach your class science. And what's her name? Yes, that's important. It's Mrs Shaker. Can you spell that for us? Is it S-H-A-K-E-R? That's right, Harry. Excellent. And which classroom will she teach in? She'll be in classroom 15. And where is that, Harry? It's next to the school kitchen. Good. Now, this is her first job, so please be kind to her. I'll meet her in the car park and carry all her bags and books. What colour is her car? Do you know? Blue, I think. No, sorry, it's black. The new secretary's car is blue. And can we... That's enough questions, Harry. Now we must start some work. Now listen to part two again. Which subject will she teach us? You ask a lot of questions, Harry. Sorry, Miss Brown, but I just want to know. All right. Well, she usually teaches maths, but she's going to teach your class science. And what's her name? Yes, that's important. It's Mrs Shaker. Can you spell that for us? Is it S 
H A K E R. That's right, Harry. Excellent. And which classroom will she teach in? She'll be in classroom 15. And where is that, Harry? It's next to the school kitchen. Good. Now, this is her first job, so please be kind to her. I'll meet her in the car park and carry all her bags and books. What colour is her car? Do you know? Blue, I think. No, sorry, it's black. The new secretary's car is blue. And can we... That's enough questions, Harry. Now we must start some work. That is the end of part two. Okay. Okay, Lily, you have here our new teacher. Okay. She will start on Tuesday and she will teach us what? Why so many? It's maths. Okay. Science, Lily. Okay. Very good. Number two. The name of the teacher is Miss. What's the name? Shakio. <laughs> it is Shaker. Okay. It's okay, Lily. Number three. What's the classroom number? 15. Probably you hear it as 50. So that's why it's 50, but it's 15. Classroom is next to where? School? Is there a school kitchen? It is school kitchen. Yeah, kitchen. Okay. And number five. What's the color of teacher's car? It's color black. Color black. And all right, number five is correct. It's okay, Lily. No problem, my teacher. Okay. Let's move to the next. Okay. This one. This is very easy. All you have to do is just to answer Helen's mom. Forgot to take lots of things with her work today. Where did she leave each of those things? Okay, you have to tell me. You have to write here the correct letter of your choice. Answer, please. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. each thing. Did you have a good day at work, Mum? Oh, Helen, I had a horrible day. I love my job, but I left a lot of things at home this morning. I made some sandwiches last night for my lunch. I put them in the fridge and forgot to take them out. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I didn't have my umbrella with me, so I got all wet when it started to rain. My umbrella was in the shower. I put it in there last night because it was wet. Oh dear, I hate bad weather. Me too. And I didn't have my comb with me. Did you forget to take that with you too? <laughs> yes! It was in one of the pockets of my old coat, the one I wear in the garden. My hair was very untidy all day. And later on, I had to write a difficult letter, and I couldn't spell some of the words. I needed my dictionary to help me with that. But where was it? <laughs> on top of the television at home. I made some mistakes, I think. Oh, Mum. I needed to read about an important meeting, too. The writing was very small. I couldn't see the words. What was the problem? I didn't have my new glasses with me. I had them in the car yesterday, but then I left them on the table in the living room. You can read about it tomorrow, can't you? And at the end of the day, 
I got to the station late because I forgot my watch too. I left it on the shelf by the mirror here. I didn't know the time because there was no clock in the office, so I just guessed. Why didn't you ask someone? Oh, I was too busy. Tomorrow will be a better day. Now listen to part three again. I didn't have my umbrella with me, so I got all wet when it started to rain. My umbrella was in the shower. I put it in there last night because it was wet. Oh dear, I hate bad weather. Me too. And I didn't have my comb with me. Did you forget to take that with you too? Yes. It was in one of the pockets of my old coat, the one I wear in the garden. My hair was very untidy all day. And later on, I had to write a difficult letter, and I couldn't spell some of the words. I needed my dictionary to help me with that. But where was it? <laughs> on top of the television at home. I made some mistakes, I think. Oh, Mum. I needed to read about an important meeting, too. The writing was very small. I couldn't see the words. What was the problem? I didn't have my new glasses with me. I had them in the car yesterday, but then I left them on the table in the living room. You can read about it tomorrow, can't you? And at the end of the day, I got to the station late because I forgot my watch, too. I left it on the shelf by the mirror here. <laughs> I didn't know the time because there was no clock in the office, so I just guessed. Why didn't you ask someone? Oh, I was too busy. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a better day. That is the end of part three. Okay. Here, let us okay. check your answer. Come is letter. Oh, where is it really? Oh, it's letter D. Correct. Next is the umbrella. It's letter H. It's in the shower. Okay, next one. It's letter E. It's the dictionary. Where is the dictionary? It's in the Television here. Next, letter G. The glasses, where is it? It is in the oh, table, Lily. Okay. And the last one is the watch. Where is the watch? The watch is in the, oh my God. It's in the desk here. Okay. You've got a Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, you've got one mistake only, Lily. It's the umbrella. Okay. Next one. Okay. Now, Lily, please listen and check the box. Ready? Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What does Sarah want to do after school? Dad, my friends are going to see a film after school today. Can I go with them? Well, what about your homework? And you've got your music lesson today, haven't you? Yes, but the music teacher's ill, and I can do my history homework tomorrow. <sighs> All right, but don't be late. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What is Sarah's dad going to give her? Shall I take you in the car? No, thanks. We'll walk. It's not far. Well, take your gloves. It's going to snow this evening. 
I've already got them. But could you give me some money? Yes, OK. 2. How many friends is Sarah going to go out with? Who's going to go with you? Three of my friends. Betty, Sally and Kim. Isn't Emma going to go with you? You two are always together. No, she can't come tonight. Sorry, Lily, because teacher is eating. Okay, number one. What is Sarah's dad going to give her? What's your answer? Letter C, Lily? It's letter yes. A. It's money, Lily. How many friends mm. does Sarah go to? Or is Sarah going to go out with? Only two? Are you sure only two? Yes. Okay, it's three friends. Okay. Yay, next one. Okay, let's end. Did you eat your lunch, Lily? Not yet. Three. What's the film about? And what's the name of the film? It's called The Beach Party. But it isn't about beaches or parties. I don't understand. Well, it's about a group of famous singers. 4. What will Sarah have for dinner? Will you have dinner at home? We're going to have fish tonight. No, I won't have time. Can I take a sandwich with me? No. Buy a burger in town. That will be better. OK. 5. What's Betty's phone number? I'll be home at 9 o'clock. Betty's mum is going to bring us home in her car. All right. Not a minute later. What's her telephone number? It's 45665, isn't it? No, it's 45661. OK. Well, have a great time. And don't be late. 9, remember? Three. What's the film about? And what's the name of the film? It's called The Beach Party. But it isn't about beaches or parties. I don't understand. Well, it's about a group of famous singers. Four. What will Sarah have for dinner? Will you have dinner at home? We're going to have fish tonight. No, I won't have time. Can I take a sandwich with me? No. Buy a burger in town. That will be better. OK. 5. What's Betty's phone number? I'll be home at 9 o'clock. Betty's mum is going to bring us home in her car. All right. Not a minute later. What's her telephone number? It's 45665, isn't it? No, it's 45661. OK. Well, have a great time. And don't be late. Nine, remember? Okay, number three, what's the film about? Oh, correct, wow. What will Sarah have for lunch? Okay, it is 10 to 10 dinner, it's latter seat on the burger. And what's Betty's phone number? Oh my God, very good, 456. 
Very six one. Okay, now Lily, it's time for you. This is the last activity. Finding lesson and color. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Right. Let's do some coloring now. Okay. It's a great picture. Can I color the snake, the one in the tree? Of course you can. Which color shall we use? How about blue? Great. Can you see the blue snake? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw and write. One. The river looks dangerous. Where are the children going, do you think? I don't know. Perhaps they're going fishing. Would you like to color the flag? The one in the river? Not that one. The one on the boat. Okay. I'll do it red, shall I? Yes. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Draw a fish in the water. Put it at the front of the picture, behind the frog. Okay. And then color it yellow. All right. Three. The children are camping. I can see their tents. Can I color them too? Yes, but just color one, the bigger one. How about gray? I don't like that color. Can I do it orange? That's my favorite. Yes, if you like. Four. Can you write something in the picture now? Okay. What shall I write? Let's give the boat in the river a name. Write Storm on it. That's a strange name. I know, but I like it. Five. Now, the last thing to color. You choose. Can I color the butterfly? The one next to the spider? Of course you can. Color it purple, please. All right. Now it looks great. Now listen to part five again. One. The river looks dangerous. Where are the children going, do you think? I don't know. Perhaps they're going fishing. Would you like to color the flag? The one in the river? Not that one. The one on the boat. Okay. I'll do it red, shall I? Yes. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Draw a fish in the water. Put it at the front of the picture, behind the frog. Okay. And then color it yellow. All right. Three. The children are camping. I can see their tents. Can I color them too? Yes, but just color one, the bigger one. How about gray? 
I don't like that color. Can I do it orange? That's my favorite. Yes, if you like. Four. Can you write something in the picture now? Okay. What shall I write? Let's give the boat in the river a name. Write storm on it. That's a strange name. I know, but I like it. Five. Now, the last thing to color. You choose. Can I color the butterfly? The one next to the spider? Of course you can. Color it purple, please. All right. Now it looks great. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 2. Hey, Lily. Let us up here. Okay. What's the color of the flag? Where is your flag here? Flag, Lily. On the boat, red. Oh, this one, Lily. It should be oh. red. This one, this one, the little flag. Can you see the little flag? The small flag? That one. Draw one fish behind the flag. Where is that? Oh, this one, correct. Color the target a little larger. It's not larger, larger than orange. Okay, this one, this one, the larger than orange. This one. Write the name on the boat on the river storm. Correct. Color the butterfly next to the spider. Okay, correct. Yes. So you have got, or you got, or you did not follow with this one and this one okay good job lily okay lily girl okay show me your face now okay show me your face show me your face <laughs> okay lily okay i will see you on whatsapp wednesday okay Tomorrow I will see okay. you again. Yeah, tomorrow, right? I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye bye, teacher Anne. Thank you for tonight for today, Lily. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Yes. Bye.